Hello sir, first of all wishing you a very good day. I am Amrita Nanda TM, student of semester 4 BCom LLB in School of Legal Studies, Kusat. So today I am in front of you to do the presentation on the topic. It's a case law, Chand Patel vs. Bismillah Begum. So without any delay, let's go to the slides. So my case is Chand Patel vs. Bismillah Begum. So in this case, the concept of void and voidable or irregular marriages in association with Muslim law and its impact on the provision of maintenance is discussed. So some information about this case. It's Benjis Altamas Khan was, uh, and uh, J.M. Panchal. The appellant is Chand Patel and the respondent is Bismillah Begum and others. And the relevant provisions discussed is Section 125 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, 1973, Mullah's Principle of Mohammedan Law. And the facts of this case is that the appellant Chand Patel was first married to eldest of respondent 1 and subsequently married her and lived under the same roof. So, the appellant Chand Patel married Mushtaq B, the elder sister of the respondent. So, during the existence of his first wife, he decided to marry his wife's sister Bismillah Begum. With the consent of his first wife Mushtaq B, he married his wife's younger sister Bismillah Begum and it was stated by the respondent that they consummated the marriage and hence a child was born to them out of the wedlock. The daughter named Tahema Banu was born after two years of their marriage, who was still a minor and at the time of, uh, at the time she was made respondent number two in this case. Bismillah Banu said that she was legally wedded wife of Chand Patel for the past eight years and uh, she stated that in her petition, uh, she stated that she and her daughter lived under the same roof with Chand Patel's first wife and the respondent accepted the daughter and was brought up by him. But after a few years in that marriage, her relationship with her husband started deteriorating and with the time, to the extent that she he started neglecting her and her and their minor daughter. But the irony was that Chand Patel denied any marriage taking place between two. So that these are the facts. And the legal issue was whether a marriage performed by a Muslim man with his wife's uh, sister during the lifetime of his wife First wife will constitute a valid marriage or an irregular marriage and, it in, and its implication on the provision of maintenance. So if we divide the legal issue into two, then the first thing will be whether an Islam marriage with a, with a wife's sister shall be held void. And the second issue is that if the marriage of marriage with a wife's sister may be irregular or void, is she entitled to maintenance after divorce? So the contentions are like this. The appellant con contention were that the appellant asserted that a as Muslim law prohibits unlawful conjunction, uh, that is, man cannot marry his wife's sister during the lifetime of his wife and such marriage is void at the inception and would not give any rights to respondent number one and respondent number two. The respondent contended that they do not expect courts to examine the validity of marriage while passing an order for maintenance under section 125 CRPC. Additionally, till the marriage has been confirmed as void by a competent court, it continues to exist and confers the right to maintenance. The appellant himself married his wife's younger sister during the lifetime of his wife and is now using a technicality to deflect from his responsibility to maintain his wife and children. So, uh, the appellant contentions were that the appellant in the petition filed before the court, trial court denied that he married the respondent. When he appeared before the apex court, his counsel contended that Muslim personal law does not allow unlawful conjunction. Further, the advocate stated that from the initial stage of this case, he denied being married to Bismillah Begum. Moreover, he even denied having any sexual relationship with her that, that directly questioned the daughter's paternity. Also, the advocate representing the appellant took reference to the judgment passed in the case of Savita Ben Somabai Bhatia versus the state of Gujarat, 
where in the court said that the legislative intent of section 125 of crpc does not intend to include a woman who is unlawfully married under the expression of the term wife the advocate asserted that with regards to the interpretation of section 125 made in the above case the lower courts have made an error by passing an order for maintenance when the marriage itself was void from its inception but the respondent's contentions were the respondent bismillah begum pleaded in her petition that she and her minor daughter should receive a monthly maintenance maintenance amount of rupees 1000 for each of them the advocate representing the respondent said that despite both the parties were aware of the existing fact that it is an unlawful marriage still the marriage is solemnized furthermore the advocate argued that the appellant was already married to respondent's elder sister but still went on to marry the respondent and to avoid paying maintenance amount he is taking resource of the technicalities so the ratio decedent is that the bench in this case deemed it essential to clarify the legal status of the marriage between the respondent and the appellant as it would be the key factor to the right of maintenance the case dwells in the ambit of muslim law as per muhammadan law it is an un unlawful conjunction <coughs> where a man at the same time has two wives who are related to each other by affinity and for post rage that is that if either of them had been male they could ha could not have been lawfully intermarried for instance two sisters or aunt or niece and this bar of unlawful conjunction render the marriage irregular not void additionally the bench also relied on the case of taj b ablal deshai versus mawala ali khan deshai where it was held that such marriages are irregular and not void because such marriages could become lawful in the case of death or divorce of the first wife reducing it to a lawful marriage and after considering various judgments of high courts and related provisions uh, the bench agreed the with the rationale of taj b case so the decision was that so the decision can be uh, divided into four first one is the trial court verdict all uh, the trial court verdict goes like this although chand patel denied any marriage taking place between the two this connect contention did not go well with the trial court and the court thus rejected his stance as prima facie evidence pointed out otherwise the court observed that vismila begum was his wife and the minor girl was his daughter and both the persons were not maintained by him hence the trial court ordered chand patel to pay a monthly allowance of rupees 1000 to vismila begum and their minor daughter until she reached adulthood now the section court verdict goes like this the session court in gulbarga upheld the decision passed by trial court and held that until his marriage with bismillah begum is not declared by a competent court as void or nullified or is not nullified the wife and daughter are liable to receive a maintenance amount fixed by the trial court and now the high court verdict goes like this when the when the matter came before the high court the court dismissed the petition on the ground that it found no merits in the petition when the trial court session court and even the high court agreed that chand patel was liable to pay maintenance he went for an appeal before the supreme court of india now the supreme court verdict goes like this the supreme court held that a muslim man who marries a wife sister during the existence of his marriage with his first wife such marriages shall be deemed to be irregular and not illegal or void so the marriage is ir irregular the apex court upheld the decision passed by the lower court and held that the unlawful marriage would still subsist and muslim man shall be liable to pay maintenance for his wife until his marriage is declared void by a competent court the court ordered chand patel to pay maintenance within 6 months from the date of the judgment and was also ordered to pay the respondent's cost of litigation so concluding the decision the court concluded that unlawful conjunction lead to an irregular marriage and is not void Hanafi law in relation to Muslims in India is concerned and irregular marriage continues to exist until a competent authority declares it void. Till then, it is entitled it entitled the wife and children to maintenance, and the court instructed the appellant to provide maintenance to both the respondents. So that's all about my case. Thank you.
So with this, my presentation has come to an end. Hope my presentation was good. That's all. Thank you.